Close your eyes and see if you can stay with your breath. Make it a game. Can you stay with ten in and out breaths? If you can stay with ten, try twenty. You can try with, stay with twenty and try thirty. You have to stretch yourself this way. Other people can train our minds to some extent. Our parents trained us when we were small. Teachers as we grew older. The people around us as we entered into society. But to get deep down into the mind requires that we train ourselves. And who's going to be watching us? Nobody. We're watching ourselves. In the same way, there's, there's no secret place in the world, as I say, where you can do evil and nobody will see, because after all, you'll see. And you'll know that it was not good. In the same way, if you don't train your mind, you'll see that it's not good. Anger comes in, greed comes in, fear comes in. And if you can't control these things, who's going to suffer? You're going to suffer first. So you want to get some control over the mind. In other words, you tell it to do something and it will do it. That's when you can find some happiness in life. Because your mind is what shapes your life. And if your mind is not under control, that means it's like giving your car over to a crazy person to drive. You have no idea where the crazy person is going to crash into somebody. If you want your car to be safe, you have to be mindful and alert, and you're the one who's driving. The same with the mind. You set your mind on doing something, you want to make sure you follow through. That way you learn how to trust yourself. You develop good qualities, your determination to figure out which of your desires is most important. And then to decide you want to go for the most important ones. And as for the other desires that get in the way, you say, I have to put those aside. There are other things in my mind that are more important. And you really stick with your original determination. And you try to keep your mind calm as you do this. Otherwise, you don't last very long. This is one of the reasons why we train the mind in concentration like this. Both because it gives us some, some control over the mind and also calms it down. When things outside are getting hectic, getting confusing, you can stop and go inside for a while. Make sure that your center is solid. And then you're in a position to come back out into the world from a position of strength. That way you benefit, the people around you benefit as well. When you can maintain your balance, it makes, it's easier for other people to maintain their balance too. So take this opportunity to get the mind under some control, doing something good, getting it concentrated, getting it still. Because when the mind is still, then it can see things a lot more clearly, and you're in a better position to decide what's the best thing to do. This way it puts your life in your hands. Remember that if you really want to be happy, you have to train the mind.